Good evening. I'm your host, Patrick Stewart. You might remember me from such films as Dune, Excalibur, X-Men 1 and 2, which I particularly enjoyed making, and a brief job I had on a television show about space something or other. I, I don't really remember much about it except it helped pay the bills. Anyway, tonight's story is about a ring of power. This ring was forged in the fires of a mountain that is kind of smaller than Mount Doom and, and is actually about a mile or so away and off to the left with some trees in front of it. Anyway, this ring of power was given to the Norse god Odin to protect. He was warned of the danger if this ring were to fall into the hands of humans who would most certainly abuse its power. Odin accidentally left the ring on his nightstand, kind of off to the left and not really out in front, but still left it there. It was there that Loki, his son, found it and took it. Thor, Odin's other son, saw Loki take the ring and began to chase him throughout the house, and they kind of ran out the door and off to the left and into the land of Midgard. This is where our story begins. Loki, I'm gonna thump you so hard when I catch you! Hey, Thor! Try and catch me if you can! Who's that? <laughs> Whoops! Father's going to beat us if we don't find this ring. What if it gets into humans? Hands! We need to find this stupid ring! But Thor, what if Dad finds out? Like we always do, we'll blame Freya. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Roman armor? It's a face. What a beautiful day. What's this? of a dark lord, you would have a queen! Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the morn! That dress is the thief! Long God of the foundations of the earth! All shall love me and bear! I shall have you for my own. I shall take up this ring. And I shall have you, my own, my own precious. So where should we go? How about the Russian pimp camp? Yeah, I know the pimp himself. He always has the finest room in a war. Sounds like a plan. I hear it's going to be a real blast. Hmm. I wonder what the yield of that blast would be. Jeez, Jim. That's, that's bad even for you. What? I was merely curious what the explosive output of the explosion Brian referred to would be. You gotta be kidding me. Everyone knows that the Russian pimps camp is megatons of fun. Well, that's worse than Jim's comment. The women. I'm telling you guys, they are definitely hot. The fact is, everyone knows the Russian pimp camp is the best place to get a great red light special. Really? Why's that? Booze! Sex. Booze and sex. Fascinating. This phenomenon deserves closer study. Did I mention booze? Did I mention sex? Yes, you both did mention booze and sex. Would you like me to play it back for you? Wow, that thing really records? Yes, among other things. Ah, I could see some real possibilities here. But we need to make sure that we do not violate the Prime Directive. Dude, 
Booze and sex is the prime directive. Not necessarily in that order. So true. Well, let's go then. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Small problem, dude. Well, what is it? It's the rain. What about it? Major turnoff for hot chicks. That is a logical assumption. Hey, why don't you just take it off, put it in your pouch? No one will know but us. Well, I don't know. Dude, trust us. No one's gonna know. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna say anything anyway. It is logical. Well, okay. Something's not right. He's taken off the ring. <laughs>